As you know, Mitchell Miller, signed by the Boston Bruins, the 20-year-old who, when he was a teenager, had racially abused and bullied a young black classmate who was developmentally challenged. I'm Mitchell Miller from Savannah, Ohio. I'm a defenseman. I think it'll be a great experience. Uh... The Boston Bruins' is signing of Mitchell Miller is, in one word, disappointing. How, how dumb is Don Sweeney? The guy went to Harvard. What has Mitchell done to earn uh, this signing? The reason this move is under so much scrutiny is because of Miller's past and how current Bruins on the squad disapprove of it. Miller, 20, had the olive branch extended to him by Bruins management, specifically general manager Don Sweeney, who said of the move, you know, We have a much better understanding and, uh, and feel we're in a position that uh, when doors were slamming, that uh, maybe we would, we would allow one to open up. So what happened with Mitchell Miller, that this edition is so controversial. Isaiah Myers Crother, seen here, was Mitchell Miller's bullying victim, not in an isolated incident as some have proclaimed, rather, it was a years-long escapade by Miller and another individual. In middle school, Miller pled guilty to an assault charge and a violation of the Ohio Safe Schools Act. As far as I'm concerned, he's a monster, Isaiah's mother, Joni, told NBC10. The Arizona Republic reported the gruesome details Isaiah, seen here in 2022, had to endure as a youngster just trying to fit in and be accepted. At an Ohio junior high, Isaiah was given a lollipop that Miller and another boy, Hunter R. McKee, rubbed in a urinal. The boy wanted to be friends with Miller and McKee, so he accepted the candy and had to be tested for hepatitis, HIV, and STDs, according to a police report. The two boys were captured on video punching Meyer Crothers after giving him the candy. Isaiah's mother said Miller smashed her son's head into a brick wall. Isaiah told the Arizona Republic that the bullying lasted longer than this one incident. He said Miller called him brownie and the N-word while consistently hitting him during their time growing up. He pretended to be my friend and made me do things I did not want to do, Isaiah said in a phone interview. In junior high, I got beat up by him. Everyone thinks he's so cool that he gets to go to the NHL, but I don't see how someone can be cool when you pick on someone and bully someone your entire life. Isaiah is referring to the Coyotes' initial drafting of Miller in the fourth round of the 2020 NHL draft. His draft rights would be rescinded, and he would play at the University of North Dakota. As many are aware, if you follow sports... Or even if you're in the job market, prospective employers vet who they want representing their company. Now, granted, it is a tad different when it is in the sports industry because these are the athletes and coaches that are going to be highly visible. However, the Coyotes clearly failed in vetting. Mitchell Miller. The family says Mitchell Miller has never apologized to their son. In effect, they have received countless threats from Sylvania, Ohio, Miller's hometown. This is a league, much like the NFL, that responded to the 2020 summer protests by PRing their way into an anti-racist message. Still, after seeing end racism on jumbotrons and in stadiums, the Coyotes and now Bruins showed it was all for show. Bruins forward Brad Marchand, winger Nick Foligno, and team captain Patrice Bergeron appeared to come out against the signing. Important to know, Joni said one of the key reasons Miller and the other boy admitted to the crime and avoided a trial was because it was caught on a surveillance camera and it would have been shown in court. It was absolutely brutal, she said. Had he not pled guilty, the video would have been released. It would have been so much worse on Mitchell because of the brutality to our son. He's smashing Isaiah's head against a brick wall. The family declined to release the video to the Republic because Isaiah said it would be too embarrassing for him. After the Bruins signing, Isaiah's mother was contacted by The Athletic and said the following, every time this is brought up, it puts him right back to where he was. To sit at the table with Mitchell in seventh grade, he had to say he was his N-word or he had to sit by himself at the lunchroom. It's all this stuff that keeps replaying in his mind all the time that he's not a value, that his life doesn't matter. He was told his black mom and dad didn't love him. That's why he has white parents. Imagine the identity problems that Isaiah's dealing with. He was already behind the eight ball because he had fetal alcohol syndrome and drug exposure, so cognitively, he's already behind. Then you're adding this stuff on to a kid that just wants to have friends because he already knows he's not functioning like the other kids. He was tormented. That's where I'm struggling.
She added, the only time he sought Isaiah out to apologize to him was about a week and a half ago when Boston told him, we're not signing you unless you apologize. So then he decided, hey, I better get a hold of Isaiah and apologize. At that point, he was sorry, but it wasn't hockey related. He told Isaiah specifically that he was sorry, that it was not hockey related. He just really wanted to help kids in a similar sitch. That's why he was reaching out. He tried to sit down with Isaiah and tell him he was sorry, but it was all because of this, because of being signed by Boston. It was about hockey. It wasn't about kids. It wasn't about being sorry. It was about his hockey. So it's empty. In response, Miller has been released by the Boston Bruins.